Hello, this is Kieran from Glitchfree Gaming, also known as Protome everywhere on the internet. Uh, I'm gonna play some more Mario Maker 2. That last video seemed to be not oh, popular, but people seem to like it. So, more of these levels from the Waypoint community. First up, we have Mario's Best Friend by Mufosta on the, the forum thread. Uh, Nick Thick on here. Yeah, the uh, course ID you can see here is 7Q6MM9YWG. He describes this as nothing special, just a fun level, and figured this would be a cool place to share. Pretty easy one, lots of hints and coins and such. I hope that's accurate. Oh, right, my control's right. There are. I instantly missed a mushroom. This is very start of Super Mario World. Mm. Oh, it's Mario's best friend. Nice. Oh God, if I can get back out again. Yeah, nothing too crazy so far. Oh no. Oh no. Goodbye, Yoshi. That's really all Yoshi's good for anyway. I definitely go to the uh the Jeff Gershman school of thought on Yoshi. Yoshi exists to die. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice and simple, but good little level. Good job, my foster. So next up we have Universal Basic Income by Dr. Whaley. Or on the forum they're known as Just Stay Home. It's a, more of an educational attempt at a Mario Maker level. Teach people about the benefits of universal basic income. Not the most elaborate level. Guess this point across pretty well. Maybe simplifies the topic a little bit, but it is a Mario level. So what you gotta do? Uh, the next level is also by the same author, so we'll skip to that next. So next up we have Lawn Care 101. Also by it's not shown. Oh, because I went through the user. Uh, by Dr. Whaley, or just stay home on the forum. Code is WJS QNV R6G. Again, all the codes will be down below. I don't know what this one is. Just the future of yard work is here. Lawns. How American. Oh god. Well, that didn't go well for me. <sighs> Why is the How's up a lawn care but it's on a ship? Does this airship have a garden on it? Oh, that's straightforward. Oh god. Oh no. I can't read what that says. I couldn't see what any of that said. But I don't think that's necessarily because it was poorly written or anything. I think it's just because I was dodging things. This one is. Oh my god. It's miserable. Oh, back where I was. Try jumping down here. 
Um, <laughs> okay. Oh wow. I'm really glad I didn't try to get some of those coins. What was that locked door for back there? I didn't understand any of that. That's probably some American nonsense. It's not right level to play though. I liked it. Good job, just stay home. I didn't understand any of the theming of it. But I feel like that's just because I'm not American. Easy. It wasn't really, but you got to make yourself look good in comments. So next up, we have Cameron Poe by MGM195. That's, they're also their username in the form. If I remember right, Cameron Poe is the main character from um, Con Air? Nick Cage film? I don't really remember anything else about that film, though. So if this is filled with, like... References to that film, I'm gonna remember nothing about it, but hopefully it's good. Uh, PTS 76Y80H is the code. Let's see if it is. It's Mario World level, so this is our objectively the best, except for maybe 3D World. Oh god. This looks nothing like Connor. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. This lever going down. Nice. That's a new thing they added in this. Oh god. In the first one you couldn't control lava. It was just a set level. And they added in this uh, you can set really elaborate controls actually. Oh, I was too overconfident there. Um, Really elaborate controls where you can set like a whole kind of path for it to go up and down based on like where the camera is. Which is really smart. I don't mess about it too much myself in any levels. But I've only made two levels so far. I'm currently working on a third one. But that's all about using bob bombs. I really could use the lava in that actually. Let me see what lava does to ball bombs. I assume it just makes them explode. Oh my god, I can't hit this button. Right, don't fall off again. Okay. Easy. Oh god. This is definitely the most used kind of... Uh, I don't want to say gimmick, because gimmick has such like a... Like a bad kind of um, like reputation to the word, but it's it's a gimmick. It, this is the kind of, the most popular gimmick I've seen people use so far in Mario Maker Two levels, like this kind of on-off block kind of stuff, which is fine. I, I'm not complaining about it. It's cool. I've seen people do some really cool stuff with it. I have messed this one up. Good thing is I can cheat because oh I'll die if I do that. It'd be really good if I can do this right. Nope, I messed up permanently. Into the lava I go. Oh lava's raisin as well. So basically the time limit. Yeah, I've seen some really cool stuff with it so far. Um although I've also seen just a lot of the same kind of puzzles of turn this on and off to like guide something like an item through a, a track which is fine it's just i've seen a bunch already and then also just some really difficult platforming because you need to specifically hit a thing and then come back down and land on a thing it's sometimes really hard I, i'm really bad at hitting that one i need to remember where that one is really i can just keep going the other ones don't raise... Oh, no, I'm wrong. That one does go high enough. I'm wrong. As it turns out. Right, let's just run past them. 
Hit that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's the cool move I was trying to do before. Right. Let's go as high as I can go. And then I need this guy to... Oh, I need to not die to... Bear this game. This level's not even that hard. I'm just bad at it. Right. Let's get these high ones and then die. I can do it. I'm going to beat your level, MGM. You can't stop me. If I beat that spinny level in the last video, I can beat this one. Because that spinny level was a pain. Whereas this is just a minor pain. Okay, slow and steady. Definitely not going to get the world record time on this. Oh my god, that was a dumb jump. Why did I do that? Alright. This time. I got it. I don't remember any flying turtles in Conair. But it has been a while since I've seen it. Oh, I tried to get fancy there and skip that last bit. And it didn't work. Oh god, oh god. Right. Nope. Nope, I need to do my, my cool guy jump. I got it again. See, that's how you do it. I definitely don't want to spin jump. I need that height. Oh, I did the thing I was trying to do. But I didn't want to do it this time. I'm just going to slowly die in the lava. That'd be terrifying. Alright. I also don't think that's how lava works, though. I feel like in the real world, Mario would have died a long time ago if he was this close to having lava underneath him. I know, it may be shocking that the Mario games aren't the most realistic series in the world. Plumbers can jump this high though. That's just a fact. I guess Mario's not even a plumber anymore. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm getting worse. This section's not even that hard. I bet there's like a more elaborate version of this next. This is like the easy bit to teach you how to do this. <sighs> I just misjudged that. I can't even blame capture lag. Because I fixed that. Right. Let's get this, this. Let's not do the fancy thing. Let's just go up here. Let's not hit this Koopa like I did the first time. Oh god. That almost killed me. Right, these, this definitely needs to be blue here. Oh, that's just mean. Do I need one of these? Probably not, right? Let's hope not to kill them all. What'd I get? What'd I get? Oh, I'm going to need that, haven't I? Oh, monstrosity of you. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you definitely would not be able to do that without the star. All right, I did it. It's just like Conair. It was a good look, man. Four minutes less than me is what the the world record is. I liked it. Let's do it seriously. You can draw and write your own comments here. Uh, but I'm playing docked and so I'm just using the preset ones. 
Anyway, that one's really good. Well done, MGM. It's not actually as hard as I made it look. I'm just bad, as it turns out. Next up, we have Bowser's Cursed Forest. With two hours, that's not how you spell forest. But this thing says that face snake is German, so I guess it makes sense. You know, easy mistake to make. Uh, this has a really low clear rate, which I believe face snake's last one did as well. If I remember right. Face snake made the ice cave one that we played before, which I quite liked as well, which had some difficult jumps in it. Um, they warn in the forum, this can be challenging for new players, give it a try. Let's try it. KKR2TOQTF is the code. As always, it'll be down below. Let's get stuck on this level for the rest of the video, I guess. All right, poison, forest stuff, nighttime. Oh, nope, that's that's not somewhere I can land. If I was looking, I would have noticed that. Oops, I need to go. Oh, God. God damn it. Right. So I need to jump on that. Jump off it low down. Okay. Oh, no. That's not a pet I want to be in. Right, no tricks, right? Face Snake really likes these little spike blocks. They used them a lot in the last level as well. Well, I don't think I can make these jumps. I'm really bad at making jumps off vines in this game. I might not be able to do this level. <laughs> Alright, we'll try. Yeah, oh, I made that same mistake before. I knew there were spike blocks there. I still tried to jump there. If I had a Yoshi, it'd be fine. Right. Get down relatively low. Jump past these. And the angry dogs. And then do these stupid fine jumps. Damn my face, snake. You'll be a death of me. Right. So I need to get as far. Nope. That's too far. No, no, land on the land. Okay, that was too high because I hit the ceiling. I don't know if I can do this. How do you do this, face snake? It's not far enough. There we go. Easy. Oh god, you like those tight corridor ones as well, don't you? I can already see... Having only played like two Face Snakes levels, I can see Face Snakes like... Oh my god, like signature style of... Spike blocks and tight jumps. Right. I almost jumped onto the spikes again. I keep... It just feels natural to jump down there. Spikes are just mean. This whole level's just mean. You're mean, face snake. All right, I got the hang of that now. And then I messed that one up. But that's fine. Cause I know how to do it. If I just need to press up, I don't know. Excuse the D-pad on this controller is really good. Oh my god. I'm still using the the one I mentioned in the last video, the the Mega Drive controller. The 8 bit to M30. Which I'm not sponsored by them or anything, I just like this controller. That's a good Wii controller. There we go. Um, they should do a pro one that comes with analog sticks then. Oh. Mm. Alright. This time. I'm making just enough progress each time that it's gonna keep me going until like 2 a.m. Because that's how this goes. That's how they get you. But also it has such a low clear rate that I want to I want to be in that elite group. I want to be in the 
the completion group for what was it called again? Bowser's Bowser's Forest, Bowser's Cursed Forest. Oh, that was probably how you're meant to actually do that jump, not go super low like me. Right, I'm leaving the coins this time because I don't need them. Let's use this so I don't jump too high. I'm really bad at doing the short jumps fees. Oh my! I hate you, face like <laughs> you monster. Oh my god, right. That was just stupidity. There was no good excuse for that one. That's just me being dumb. That too. Someday. another dumb one uh, I've been playing so much more of this game since I recorded the last video it's fantastic it's got a lot of improvements over the first game the story mode's really good which is something the previous game didn't have like it's full of the levels are mostly made in this editor there's a couple of things that some of them use that just aren't options which I don't know if maybe they will eventually be like DLC things. Um, Nintendo definitely supported the first game with DLC for a long time. So here it's open. But they're all relatively minor things as well. Like there's certain blocks that you can pick up that you can't pick up in this. Like these stones. There's a condition in the story mode uh, where you can... Oh my god. Uh, where you, you need to carry a... Oh my god, did Face Snake watch the last video? Because this is exactly what I told them they should do with their stupid little gauntlet. Was. I shouldn't say stupid, that's mean. Um, but with their gaunt. I probably needed that. I definitely needed that. Why did I do that? Um, if you didn't watch the first video, I played Face Snake's previous level. Oh my god, can that thing die though? Uh, I suggested that they fire more enemies into the gauntlet because the one they made before had four icicles at the top and two enemies in it. And then once the enemies were dead, you were just standing there because icicles can't move. So you were just sitting waiting for the the timer to go. Because he's me. Or, or she. Sorry, I don't know genders. Um, they've made a, a timer at the bottom by. What you can do is that uh, bob bombs can destroy some blocks, and so you can attach one of those fiery things to a rail. Oh my god, no! Oh, I don't need the spring! It was lice! Uh. Um, yeah, so bob bombs can destroy certain blocks, and then you can ignite bob bombs on their own. Which they have smartly, I wouldn't have actually thought of this part of it. They've put this the fire spinner thing on a trail, so that adds another layer of the timer. So you have to wait for the fire thing to go across. You have to then wait for the bob bomb to go off, and then you need to wait for the the big. Oh, was it is it a beetle? I forget what they're called. I'm really bad at names of Mario things, despite having played them since I was a child. Never knew names about them. Um, oh my god, this isn't even that hard and I'm messing it up. So you have to wait for three things. You have to wait for the beetle to go across, you have to wait for the bob bomb to go off, you have to wait for the fire to set the bob bomb off. And then you have a limited amount of time to get out. Because the P-switches only last a certain amount of time. Oh my god, that was just clumsiness. All of this is just clumsiness. I do like this level though. This is a marked improvement over your first one, Face Link. All right. Patience. Screw this. 
I needed to make a bigger run. Why is that spring there? Why is it there, Face Snake? Is there some secret? Is there something hidden? Can I use the spring for something? Probably not. This boo in the middle is actually way more. I don't think I've died to it. Maybe I died once. But it, it's terrifying and that's what it's for, I guess. It's less to... It's less to like actually kill you and more just to scare you to keep you away from the middle. Which is good. Go over here. Oh god. I love the new music in this game. I like this night theme. It's very good. Right. Oh, that was only just far enough. Oh, so close. One block away from finishing it. Right, this is the one. We got this. Few more seconds. All right, get rid of the spring. Let's let one more look volley of these come out, and then run for it. Ah, oh, I jumped early. This time, I've definitely got it down. It's just executing on it. I'm still making dumb mistakes. This hiding in the corner tactic definitely works well. Oh God. Good job in fixing this challenge room idea though. Right, get a lost spring. I really hope there's an actual reason for that being there. And Face Knight watches this and it's just like, oh, he's crazy. This would be so much easier if he just used the spring. Yeah, I don't even care about getting a good thing. Did it. I beat it. I beat it, Face Snake. Undefeated. That was great. I also appreciate this as a... Oh, I got the record. It's like so few people have beat it. Um, and just to be mean. Easy. If they watch this video, they will know that's a lie. But I did like it. Uh, it's, as I was saying, it's, it's nice to play Face Snake's first level and then the second level and see just the improvements they've made as they go. Because that's one of the fun things about Mario Maker is you see creators make a bunch of levels, you follow them and play their levels as they come out. Face Snake actually, I think, has a third level, which probably won't play during this video, but I'm sure that will be improved even on top of this. And then eventually they'll go and make an indie platformer and it'll be the next Celeste or something. So next up we have Swing Kings from Calamari. Or Questionable on the forum. They describe this as... Basically me playing around with the hooks in a familiar format. I see it's kind of a race level. So let's see how this goes. I'm sure it'll be good. I like the original Smith. I was going to say Smash Bros. Uh, Super Mario Brothers as a theme. <laughs> she had the Smash Bros. theme. That'd be silly. Right. I expect great things from these hooks. Unless in this level, because this is Calamari's first level. Um, although this is good so far. But I mean. It seems like you could do so much with these hooks because um, I don't think we'll see it during this, but during the story mode, there's a couple of levels that show that if a hook goes over like an enemy or an item, it'll automatically pick it up. And if it, oh, oh, that was easy. That was good. Good job, Calamar. Um, but if it picks something up, then if you stand underneath it, it'll drop it. So they've used that to make like little crane games and stuff like that. Oh, someone else already commented Waypoint. Good stuff. But 
the waypoint community has been pretty good for this game so far. Terra Nova is also, I think we played the Terra Nova level in the last game, uh, video. Nice. The whole community. Well, not the whole community, there's more than three of us. Um, <laughs> anyway, on to the next one. So next up we have Koopa the Slow. I'll play on Koopa the Quick from Mario 64. 23 years since Super Mario 64 and time hasn't been kind. Poor Koopa. Uh, this one is by Magic Kestrel again. You may remember Magic Kestrel from most of the last video. <laughs> this clear rate's a bit higher though. Maybe this one. Codes TF9, PHH, YSF. I feel like I forgot to read out the codes for at least one of the previous ones. They'll all be in the description anyway. I'll maybe even timestamp them if I'm feeling generous. Think about defeat the Koopa Trooper. This is gonna be an escort mission, isn't it? This is the Resident Evil 2 Ashley. Oh no! This is a good use of these blocks. What music is this? Is this the Mario Kart music? Like Mario Kart 64. Oh no! Alright, I need to start again. I need to get that Koopa to the end. I like the idea. Oh, God. Yeah, this is definitely Mario Kart music. That makes sense, I guess, for the theme of it. That was stupid. Why did I do that? Okay. This time. This will not be a video where... The Magic it was Magic Kishro that made the spinny one from the end of the last level. The uh, last video, wasn't it? Keep referring to his level. Right, 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 right. Right. Awesome. No. 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 Come on. Let's speed him up. No, he turned around. <laughs> Alright, just kill me. It's close to the end though, or at least what appears to be the end. Give me this mushroom, give me this block. I got this. I like this, this is good. It's also funny, that helps. Oh my god. Hit the button. I keep getting caught up in those moles. They're the most annoying choice of enemy for this level. <laughs> If this was all Goombas, who would even care? I'd be through it, I'd have finished it with these moles. These moles, man. Right, I'm gonna try to hit this one again. So it gives me a little bit more time against these moles. Oh, god damn it. Alright, cup of the quick. Let's go! I feel like if you hit that button before and speed them across this, that'd go poorly for you long term. I think you really need to... Uh, you need to wait for that one. Because I think if you fire him across, he's going to beat the auto scroll, the auto scroll, and you won't be able to actually you know, hit the, the floor that he needs in the next bit. I've already messed this up. Right, I'm here. I'm killing moles. Oh god, I'm forgetting to hit the button. It's amazing for a level that only has like one gimmick that is hit the button. I keep forgetting to hit the button. It is literally the mechanic of the level. <laughs> Come on, moles, I can take you. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I can't. Oh, why did you turn around? Alright, let's just see where this goes. So there's a hook. And then it needs to go into that gap. Let me get it. Where does the door go? Yay! Okay, I'm right at the end. It's just that last little bit. 
Well, possibly. Unless there's something missing about that hook bit. Which may be way more di I forgot to hit the button! It's the one thing in the level! Uh, the more or less this music, the funnier it is. I don't even like Super Mario Kart that much. Oh, I missed it. My favourite Mario Kart is definitely 8. I didn't really like Kart Racers at all for a long time. I played a lot of Mario, uh, Super Mario Kart 64 and the original Super Mario Kart. And then I just never got into the DS ones, the 3DS ones. The... Oh, what else? The Wii one I played a decent amount of. But I didn't really like it that much. It was just one of those games that I played because other people liked it. Double Dash everyone sees as like their favourite and I just... I can't, I can't double dash. I don't know why, it never clicked with me. I eight didn't even click with me for a long time. Really the game that got me back into kart racers was um, Sonic Racing Transformed, which is great. It's still one of my favorites. I think Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a better game than it. I don't think stock Mario Kart 8 is. But I think Deluxe definitely adds enough Oh my god, hit the thing. Uh, I think the locks adds enough that it's a better game. Don't turn around! He's hitting the slope and it's making him turn. I wonder if there's enough momentum that I can just turn it off the moment he hits that first block. If I don't, if he gets that far. This level is infuriating. Because I can see what to do, I'm just bad at doing it. I need to hit the box first. I keep making that mistake. This little Goomba can survive. He's my friend now. This can get hit. I need to not come that far across so that the moles don't murder me. Remember that for the future. No, there's going to be a future. Because this is the last, this last time. This is it. I got it this time. Don't need any more attempts because this is going to be the this is the run, as they would say in the giant bomb community. And honestly, probably the waypoint community. There's quite a lot of overlap there. Why did it turn around? <sighs> I didn't care if he actually turns around because it's a red Koopa. Is he going to come back? Koopa. Nope. Because he's a red Koopa, so he'll turn around when he hits an edge. So I don't actually care if he turns around as long as he lands on the thing below. Which is the issue, he's not doing that. Uh, hit the button. Hit the button. Kill the mole. Skip this mole. Skip this mole. Hit the button. Kill the mole. Kill the mole. Hit the button. Hit the button. It's every time I hit the button. Maybe I do just need to wait till really late and hope he hits the one below. Hmm. I maybe made this more complicated than it is. Oh, I killed my friend. Happens to the best of us. Get the button. Get the button. Magic actual you monster. This is a good level though. The smart. Good use of music. I could see how you could elaborate on it and make it even harder. Right. Okay. I was overcomplicating it. I guess it just turns every time it falls. So what do I do? Oh, I need them to be on that so I can drop them. 
Okay, now that I'm not overcomplicating it, I can do it. I know what to do. I'm not trying to trick shot that last bit. The issue is just... So, red Koopas turn around when they hit the end. So, when he gets that hook... I wonder if he, that hook will grab him, though. Otherwise, why would it be there? Oh my god, get the thing. Oh, thank god, Koopa's still alive. Ah. Uh. Not good. Right. I got this. Kill the Goomba. Which is essential, maybe. I don't know. I said before it wasn't. Kill the moles. Oh god. Uh, killing the moles actually is important. Let's go over here. Kill the first mole. Oh my god. If I kill the first mole. Skip these ones. Hit the button. Kill these two. Almost messed that up and got hit by that one. But I survived. Right. Get right to the end. Cool. The moment he gets off there. Turn this. Do I need to stand above the hook to make it drop him? I think that's what it is. I was just saying that about the hooks. Oh, I need to stand under him to make him do it. Oh, I need to... Huh. Hmm. I understand. Alright, let's see if I can just get it to drop him. I'm worried by that arrow. How did I kill a Koopa? Here? Okay, there we go. So this isn't an issue. I think I need to do that. That makes sense. I was confused there. I was like... For a second I was like, it's, I could just spin jump on it, but this isn't world, so I can't do that. Not as hard as your last one. Which Magic Kitchen specifically says easier and probably more fun than the first level. I actually kind of like the first level more, but I will agree this is probably a better level. I just liked how uh, silly that first one was. Okay. Next one. So this next one is by Diglett on the forums. Or Diglett 3 on here. It's called Fallen Boardwalk. MVP 9JB26G is the thing for it. Uh, clear is not super high. They describe this one as a puzzle level. Uh, they said it's a bit hard. So let's see how I do it. I'm pretty bad at puzzle levels. More so than other levels. So let's see if I can finish it. Yeah, the only suggestion is there's four keys. You can't get all of them. You only need one. Oh god. I can get that key. That's doable. Then he go right or left? I mean, it's a Mario level. Oh, oh no. I made things worse for myself. I wonder if there's a key down there though. They say you only need one. But I wonder if there's like trick usages for them because if you only need one, this one here Seems really easy. Which seems like something you would do if you were going to trick me into wasting it later. Uh, right. Oh. This isn't good. Okay. Can you slide kill brown plants? I don't need them in there. Let's climb. Oh no. I don't think I can get that mushroom. 
I hope I don't need- Oh, I can. Easy. I bet I need to die and lose it, because that seems like a thing a level like this would do. Good use of slopes, though. Maybe I don't. Oh. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe I need the mushroom. Oh, there's fire for it. Give it this blooper. Uh, no, no. Okay, I need to just wing it. Okay. Up we go. Oh, there's another key there. Oh, I messed this up so badly. Yeah, I messed it up. So you only need one key, is what it says. So I should probably just get this first one. But maybe even that's a lie. What's the truth? Would someone do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? <sighs> this thing. Get down here, get the key, get on the thing. I didn't even get on the thing. It's like one of those crane games where the thing's rigged and just doesn't grab sometimes. That's how those crane games work, for what's worth. They are literally scams. This were any amusements. Don't stick your pennies in the penny one. I wonder if other countries have, they must have them. Like American stuff must have those ones that take in pennies and two pences. Which they then made into a TV show because that's exciting. I genuinely thought I was going to miss that one. Right, this time, don't panic for the chain jump. Let it jump and then go. Oh, well, never mind. Didn't need to panic. I messed up. Oh, I need to swing more. Right, this time, though. Oh god, this is terrifying. Oh, that was mean. That's also mean. Uh, please don't be ghosts. Okay. Uh, please don't shoot me. I'm just claiming my vein. I assume there's a thing to land in there. Oh, no, no. Ah. Uh, I'll go further at least. This level's pretty good so far. I almost forgot to get the key. I'm fully expecting to get to the end of this level. Well, I'm not fully expecting to get to the end of this level. I feel expecting if I get to the end of this level, then I'm gonna actually need like five keys or something. I'm gonna open a door that takes me back to the start of the level. That's the kind of dumb thing I was putting my levels. It's a real Dan Raker move. That was just dumb. <sighs> the mistakes we make. Almost walked into that fire. Alright, this time I'm just not gonna hit the block with a blooper in it. Because I realize I keep doing it despite the fact that I know there's nothing. Oh my god, I've never had that one before. Curious block. All these hidden blocks over. Oh, I messed up. Please, may this one just be a fire flower and not a. Oh, thank God. You can set it so that it does the proper Mario thing, where instead of a fire flower, it give you a mushroom first. Okay, I really need to stop doing that. Oh no. <laughs> Level 
also mean? Right. Down here again. And with no life again. Yeah, I think I want to go this way. I don't want to try and make that jump. Seems bad. I'm trying to jump between those. Right. Less scary now. I know it's there. Some of these do fire. I think all these do fire. Except that one. Oh, the fire comes back up. I forgot about that. That's what got me last time. I didn't really notice it properly though. Now I know. The fire comes back. It bounces up and down. I thought it only bounced up and down if you put it in the level, but apparently yes. If it comes out of a box, it'll also bounce up and down. Important knowledge. Useful to know for future level building as well, because I can make some real mean things. I don't usually make difficult levels. Um, partly because as you can see, I'm not very good at finishing them. I might take a stab at it and make something a bit more difficult. Because my levels are all basically like stuff you would find in World 1 in a Mario game. Because that's the easy stuff that I can make and finish. I like this though. It's not even particularly gimmicky, it's just... I keep hitting that one now. That's a different boo. There must be just a whole line of them there. I should look at this in design afterwards. I hit the blooper. I've not done that in a while. Let's try and not lose the fire instantly for once. Okay. Now I still have the fire. There's no things shooting fireballs at me. Hi, <laughs> you shoot on the thing. I didn't know you could shoot it while swinging on the hook. Oh god, right. Let's do this. I need the metal one. There's a magic Koopa here. There's no magic Kestrel though. Ah! Uh, well, whatever, at least I'm so big. At least the hat I can use. Oh, that magic cup almost messed me up actually. So I want this one. Go all the way along here. Okay. I've got the booze. You can look at the booze when you're looking up. So there's a key door there. Is it the key door though? There's one over there. Let's risk the other one. Oh god. Oh god! Oh. I feel like I cheated. I don't think that's how you're meant to finish this level. Let's risk going through the door just to see where you're meant to go. Oh, it was the first one. Well. <laughs> I found a little bit of an issue in your level. Um... It was good though. Oh, it's only three seconds off the, the thing. I bet I could beat that now. Ah, uh, speedrun, clearly. Oh god. Anyway, I think that's the last for this video. I'm slowly catching up with the stuff in the, the Waypoint Forum's Super Mario Maker 2 level sharing thread. Uh, there'll be a link to the forum below. Maybe I should link just the thread itself. Let me know what you'd prefer. I mean, you can find it easily enough. It's one of the more popular threads, so it bubbles up to the top. Uh, it's... It's good. It's got some good levels in it. Uh, I've enjoyed all the levels I've played. If I have criticisms, I say in here, but they're they're all really minor. Like, the, the levels are fun. So, yeah. There's a lot of them I still need to catch up on. I am... Um, this is from post 37 in the thread out of 47 so I've got 10 more posts not all of them are levels but at least half of them are so there's a good like five or so levels um but I need to go to bed and you know go to work so I will maybe cover those another time goodbye